Hey guys, I am at my first campsite on my 10 day trip and I thought I would show you what I brought with me for art supplies. Stay tuned. Real quick, here's some footage of where I camped the first night. It's so nice. So pretty tonight. Man, those, what are they? I can't see them. Geese, ducks, all the above. Quite loud. Oh, so pretty. All right, the lighting's gonna be a little weird because I'm in my camp trailer and the lights in here are terrible. I did bring my studio lights. I will show that set up to you in a minute, but I have to turn the generator on to run them and I'll do that eventually because I'm at 8,100 feet elevation and it's gonna get cold. So I'm gonna turn the generator on at least until I go to bed, run a heater, my studio lights, do some painting for you. Anyway, first thing I brought were my collapsible Faber-Castell cups. Okay, then I pretty much grabbed every rag and paper towel that I had sitting on my art desk at home and I usually use this reusable bamboo paper towel, stick my water jugs on that, even at home with my regular water jugs and that way when I pull my brush out of there I can dab it right on that. A very absorbable bamboo paper towel. These I always just kind of lay over the top of my studio lights and I'll show that to you <laughs> in a little bit, but not yet. What else did I bring with me? This case, you've seen this before. Oh, zipper's stuck on something. Okay, in this case, I'll try and fix the lighting in post-production. I have, can't see that, black on black, my Faber-Castell size fine. That is an India ink liner. White Posca pen. I did have a white gel pen that I stuck in there because I just used that on the Smart Art Project. I liked it. It was fun. I stuck in my silver black velvet size 6 brush. I think it's a size 6. Looks tiny. Yep. A little liner. It's a very short liner. A round one that I've never used, but it's there in case I need it. My, what is that? My Needable Eraser. My regular gum eraser. I guess it's a gum eraser. I don't know. My Royal and Ling Nickel size 6 round because I use that all the time and then I stuck in something different this time. I stuck in this little wee mop brush because I'm using some sketchbooks and I thought this might be fun to wet the whole background of them and I don't know, why not bring it? I had room. Spray bottle. And then my two Windsor Newton Cotman round brushes size 12 and 10. So that's what's in here. What else? What else? I wasn't going to bring my masking tape because I have my what is this? Washi tape. <laughs> but the washi tape, I have to like stick under my armpit. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. But I have to warm it up in order for it to work. Otherwise, it just kind of crumbles apart when I pull it off. But if I warm it up, it works really nicely. And I kind of want to use it up, but I thought, well, I might be doing something super fast and I don't have time for that. So I did throw this in because I have room for it and all of this stuff. What else? I brought this water brush, uh, that eraser, I don't know why I brought two, I don't need it, probably just because, oh, another one of those I don't need. Part of this is that I was already packed for a different trip, so anyway, these were in here, along with my camera filming stuff, which you can't really see, and my external hard drives, so I'll just put those back in there, I know where to find them if I need them. I brought... My Paul Rubens Hot Press Sketchbook. I don't think I've used this at all. I have not. But I have a fun video I want to do with you guys later about comparing Paul Rubens to the Himimiya on Paul Rubens paper. And that was a suggestion by one of you guys that I thought was awesome. So I'm going to try that on this trip. I also brought my Etcher sketchbook that I have done lots in. And I brought a ton of photo references that I can paint while I'm here. I brought, I didn't know how to say that, I bought, I brought, I brought my B watercolor sketchbook. So that's kind of new for me. I don't usually bring it on trips much. Anyway, in this I have a bunch of the printouts, the line work from Let's Make Art. Their line work used to be free to anybody. It may still be, I just haven't gone on to look. So you can just print out the line work, whatever size you need, and trace it onto your paper. 
and then try the project and they have instructions and everything on their YouTube channel on exactly how to paint these. So I brought that because I thought that could be really fun. I'm thinking ambitiously here on this trip that I'm actually going to get a lot of painting done. So we'll see if that actually happens. I brought my Hime Mia set, of course. Come on. Because that was the whole point of this trip, was trying to use this set as much as possible. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> it better, it better. And the Paul Rubin set for that one comparison video. Anyway. I brought a ruler and I brought my light box. I don't know if I'll need it, but maybe. Oh, and I did stuff it in a book, but I have graphite transfer paper with me as well. I've never brought this light box on a trip before though, but since it's just me and I'm all alone in this trailer and I have all the room that I could possibly want and it actually doesn't matter because it fits in my bag anyway. So anyway, could bring it. The last thing I brought is this Painterly Days Woodland watercolor coloring book for adults. This is that Christy Rice book that I showed you in the coloring books video. I'll link that up there. And this is what I'm going to work in tonight. I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't have my core paints, so I can't go finish this page, which would be really fun. I started this with the core mini set, and I'd like to finish it with that. So it's a bummer because it'd be really cool to finish a full page here. But that's okay. I will just start a new page with the Himimiya paints and that will help to use them up, right? Anyway, so that's what we're doing tonight. Before I get into that though, I will turn the generator on and turn my studio lights on. For filming, let me show you what I brought. Hold that thought. Okay, once again, the light's horrible here. So what I brought, like it all fit in that bag with the exception of the stuff on the table here. So this is a table that we just have in the trailer. It lives in the trailer and I just pull it out of the closet and set it up. I actually have two of them because that couch right there can be put down just like this one. Anyway, there's the mess of stuff I just showed you. But this is the filming setup that I brought with me. So I do have my two studio lights. You can see I always, even at home, just put my rags right over the top of that. And then this time, this is new for me for traveling. I went ahead and brought my whole elbow and everything for the camera that I'm holding in my hand and it just clips in here and that's how I video everything that I've shown you so far and that's cool because when I've traveled before I've just had this tiny little triangle tripod which I actually do have with me and I put my cell phone in it but this time I wanted to bring my full setup because I'm going to be gone for 10 days so I will turn the generator on when I feel like I need some heat, or maybe when I start painting, <laughs> so that you guys can see it appropriately. 8,100 feet in elevation means that it's going to get down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. So I want to be toasty before I crawl in bed, and then I'll turn everything off. But that will give me a good opportunity to turn my studio lights on so you guys can see appropriately. So pretty out there still. This is through the window of my camp trailer. I got a little chilled when I walked out there last time, so... I'm cheating. I'm just looking through my window. I see those birds over there. They've been there all morning. I have no idea what they're doing there, but it's been hours <laughs> and they are still hanging out right there. Nice view. This video got really long, so I split it up. You guys will see what I paint on my travels in the next video on Tuesday. So thank you so much. Stay tuned for the bloopers. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hey guys, I'm at my first campsite. I will put in footage for you. Wait. Hey guys, I'm at my first campsite here on my travels. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, hey guys, I have stopped at my first campsite on my trip. This is going to... Finally. Finally. Real quick. Real quick. Here's... Enough of that. I did bring my studio lights. I'll show that setup to you in a... Did I say that right? So, no, I say so too much. And yeah, 8,100 square, 8,100 square feet. Yeah, no, that is so wrong.